Welcome to AFC RD TV after tonight's 7-1 uh, win for the Diamonds against Aylesbury FC and uh, promoted at uh, league game and Diamonds look like they are now promoted. I think we're still waiting for the results to go from in Kempston but I think it would take probably a 20 goal turnaround on Saturday to change it and we'll wait for that result to come through in the next couple of minutes but I'm here with man of the match uh, Ben Farrell. Ben, um, awful night but nobody cares. It was a great win wasn't it and a great result and uh, a great achievement for the club. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. I mean, like the first 20 minutes, it was nil-nil. You know, it looked like it could have gone. You know, four weeks ago, it would have it would have probably stayed that way, or they could have got a goal. So you know, we've we've uh, turned it around a little, and we've managed to get a couple of goals in the first half. So uh, three goals from uh, probably a total yard of about one yard, wasn't it? Yeah, it's about eight yards altogether. But uh, yeah, I need I need more of them goals. Just get the tallies up. More more, more close range goals. So I'm happy. I'm really happy with them. Delighted. But the first one was the most important. Great run from uh, from Luke, and uh, you powered into the roof of the net. Yeah, he's, he's just put it on a plate. He's put it on a plate for me. To be fair, so he's made he's made it easy for me. But that, I think that first goal was important because it was getting a bit tense and get a bit tighter when you don't you don't get a goal in the first 20 minutes. You, you start to worry a little bit. And uh, then we got the second from the free kick. Um, I think we uh, Joel got one of those a few weeks ago. But then a couple of goals from you, one uh, either side of the half time, um, tappings and following up uh, shots from um, from uh, Robbins. Yeah, I mean conditions like this. I'm saying at half time to Robbins, just just shoot, just. Just let you know. Just let go. Shoot because it's, it's so slippy out there. It's, it's uh, surface is very slippy, so it's hard for the keepers. So I, I, I just knew that. So I was, I was trying to flop every every shot he had. I was just after everything and managed. Luckily, they don't always go that way, but they just fell in front of me. Yeah, and we finished strongly, didn't we? Um, nice to see Liam get on the uh, on the corner. I think we we haven't still, we struggled a little bit with set pieces, but that one worked perfectly. Yeah, last season it was we were flying set pieces, but we haven't done as well this year. But yeah, it was, it was a delight for him to score because he, he scored t two in the first half there, and. Uh, it was clock point one skimmed the bar and the second half he's, he's just nailed on right in the bottom corner brilliant yeah. and then uh, Ben Diamond came on I mean we missed Ben when he was injured didn't we oh yeah geez, we went missing for two months didn't we, we could, could have done with him but uh, yeah he's, he goes to show his class he had about four touches scored two goals and he was on for his hat trick as well so yeah. delightful yeah so uh, with 7-1 and uh, obviously we're assuming uh, we're obviously promoted now and uh, one game to go for us I know Beaconsfield have won tonight so they've still got two games left and uh, still to play for on Saturday the championship to play for everything to, everything to play for you I mean, we want to go mad and celebrate we, we can't we, we've got a massive game Saturday and it, it could be vital we could win the league which should be a but everything's a bonus for me but we could win the league so we're not going to go too hard celebrating we'll wait till Saturday night if if and when we if and when we win the league yeah and it's going to be a good party in it on Saturday night either way we'll have a party but if we win the league it'll be it'll be a, it'll be a massive bonus it'll be brilliant but uh, either, either way we'll, we'll go out and have a few drinks Saturday night yeah and uh, good crowd here tonight but I would imagine be even more here on Saturday as well yeah, hopefully, yeah, yeah. The crowd, crowd are brilliant tonight. They egged us on first half, didn't stop, I and mean, it just it just kept us going. It was it was a good party mood, especially towards the end there, celebrating with the crowd. It was brilliant. So hopefully Saturday we can do it do it again. It's a great feeling. All right, mate. I'll let you go. It's an awful night, and go and have a show. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ben. I'm now here with uh, Liam Dorman, captain, and uh, no doubt a delighted captain. The results come through from Kempston, and it's official. We are promoted. Happy days, yeah. I mean, it's what we've worked from day one of pre-season. Um, I've said in a previous interview that it was down to us and although we've had a blip recently, I think we've come back strong from it where we wasn't picking up enough points and we've showed the character that we've got in the dressing room and obviously we're delighted, not just as a team, but for the whole club. I think it's an, obviously the next step in the right direction, but it's been probably a couple of years too late, if we're all being honest. We should have wrapped things up a couple of years ago, but that's life and we've just kicked on. I mean, what a fantastic season we've had. We've never stopped going. I mean... The um, what we set ourselves up from the run just before Christmas and after it was um, was fantastic. The 18 um, game and beat and run, I think it was, and then obviously we had a blip after that and picked ourselves up again. I think that's been the story. Our character as a whole team has been fantastic, and thankfully we've been rewarded tonight. Yeah, and four wins on the trot as well. And I think uh, after four draws, people were beginning to work, to get concerned, but you never stopped believing, and the team never stopped believing. No, I mean, I think. A lot of people have said that our performances weren't far off. We we just weren't sticking the ball in the back of the net. And but like I just said, we've got every ounce of ability in there at this level and character of abundance in there. To be honest, because not many teams after drawing four on the bounce will come back and win four against some tough sides as well. So um, yeah, obviously we're, we're delighted. But the job's not finished yet. I mean, Beaconsfield can still slip up, and if we win Saturday, then. Um, 
happy days, but obviously we're going to celebrate this moment. Yeah, and uh, I know so about tonight. There'll be a big party on Saturday, I know. Bigger crowd. It was awful evening tonight. Still a good crowd. And, uh, I mean, from coming back to the game, um, I thought we started quite well. And we got the goal reasonably early. Yeah, we did. We, we started very brightly and then got the two goals. And I thought, right, uh, we're, we're going to have it tonight. And then we got sloppy for 10 minutes, which is very out of character for us of, re of recent performances. But... We had a good chat at half time that we needed to press them high and, and really take the game to them because we know as a side that we can't sit back and continue to soak up, well not pressure from them, but get lethargic and so we, we upped the tempo and I think obviously that paid off with another five goals. Yeah, and I saw you give uh, Luke a bit of a uh, hammering in the first half of his delivery, but he delivered for you right on your forehead for that uh, for your goal. Yeah, I just said, just put it in an area and, and if we're not there to attack it, then you can have a go at us, but just you don't. It doesn't have to be the perfect ball, and the one he put in was a perfect ball. But look, he's a young lad, and he's got a very bright future in the game. I think we all know that. Hopefully, he stays with at the club next season. And but I'm sure, as many players will do, we'll have offers. But it's up to Peaksy now to to try and keep us all together. And another uh, promising uh, youngster is Ben Diamond. He came on, scored two really good goals. Yeah, what what a talent to be fair. He's got everything. I think. I mean, the injury he picked up, I think it was egg him away, wasn't it? And we haven't really seen him since, but since he's come back, you can just tell his, his natural foot and footballing ability is up there with, prob with the best non-league players I've seen. And I, like, again, I wouldn't be surprised if he is if playing at this level next year. We might edit this, by the way, but never mind. <laughs> well, I'm, only, I'm an honest lad, then I'll say. Now, Bully, I mean, it's been uh, a long season and I know you were here uh, three seasons ago. I even lost track when we won promotion uh, back from step five, uh, two playoffs. I mean, it's, it has been a really good success for the club with a short history as well, hasn't it? It has, I think, six years, three promotions, isn't it? And two playoffs, which isn't bad, is it, really? But we're so delighted to get over the line this year. And um, it's like I said, it's up to us as a club. Hopefully I'm here next year and then uh, we'll kick on again and give it our best shot next year. All right, mate. And uh, looking forward to a big party on Saturday, whatever happens. Yeah, very much so. I might have a couple of beers, as hopefully all you will in the clubhouse after. But, yeah, we'll put some money back into the club. Yeah, well, mate, let you go. Thanks, Thanks well. Liam. I'm now here with Andy Andy Peaks. Andy, uh, it's official. We're promoted. Yes, we are, John. It's been a long time coming, certainly across the last two, three years. But, yeah, we're absolutely up now, so delighted. I know uh, when you started four seasons ago, uh, end of the season, um, one championship, two playoffs and now another promotion. It's not a bad record, is it? No, I think we're quite happy, really. Um, like I said, I've been here really from the start. So, yeah, we've had a couple of promotions and some very near near misses. So, yeah, I think we've done OK in the six years. And uh, tonight probably wasn't in doubt, was it really? Um, it took us a bit to get going, but once we got the first two goals... Yeah, I mean, the last two games before tonight were the pivotal ones for me. Um, last Tuesday and Saturday was going to set us up for tonight. Um, I went and watched these last Thursday and I did have a lot of young kids and they want to pass the ball. But for me, I said to the boys before, if we play our game, we'll, we'll beat them. Um, and that's how it panned out. I thought we were great from the first minute to the last, really. Yeah, there was that spell when they got the goal a bit sloppy at that point. I think we just got a little bit complacent um, at 2-0. Probably had a few two, touches too many and got a little bit too easy and they broke and scored. And that was quite a good learning curve for us, really. It was nice to get the third goal before half-time. Um, but, yeah, second half foot was dominant. I know it was a great team performance, but it was a story of two Bens, wasn't it? Hat-trick from uh, Ben Fowle and uh, two late goals from Ben Diamond. Yeah, I mean, I think they both showed what we missed in the six games previous, didn't it, when they weren't here around and whatever, we, we, we missed them too. We knew that was going to be the case. Um, I thought the front two worked really well tonight, just didn't get their goals and it opened up later on. Um, but yeah, I think everyone played their part tonight. So uh, I know uh, we've got one more game on Saturday. It's going to be a big party and uh, obviously Beaconsfield's still got two games. It all depends on uh, them dropping some points, but uh, we could still end up as champions. But whatever happens on Saturday, it'll be a big party. Yeah, it has to be, doesn't it? We've, we've achieved what we set out to do, let's get promoted. Um, we're going to train Thursday and we're going to go Saturday to try and win another game of football with the chances that we could win the league. If we don't, get promoted if we don't win the league then so but we've been promoted and yeah big party for everyone it was a bit damp for some of the fans tonight at the end um, which was a bit of a shame if I'm being honest um, but at the end of the day we've got another game Saturday and we're going to try our best to win it and see what happens elsewhere and uh, have you even started thinking about next season yet 
No, not thought about next season at all, John. I want to get this one done first. You always tell me you don't think about the next game, do you? I always think about the next game. That's as far as it goes. Certainly not about next season. <laughs> OK, mate. I'm going to let you go. It's been uh, a great evening and a great uh, win for the club tonight and a great season. And uh, let's enjoy it on Saturday. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's got us you know, back to a good level, hasn't it? All of a sudden, next year we're playing at the sort of level where this club needs to be at. Um, I'm pleased for the fans and everyone, to be honest, the volunteers, because you know we've worked together as a group, not just me, the players, the management staff. It's, it's, it's a massive thing across the club. Um, and we started back to where we started and all of a sudden we've gone on and on and on and probably in the six years we've now at a, a level we can be really proud of and three promotions three promotions yeah take a minute cheers I don't need love